Right, so the Creality Falcon Pro 40 watt laser is assembled, humming along like a caffeinated librarian. And now it's time to answer that big question. What can it actually do? Turns out quite a lot. But today we're focusing on one specific, that word I could never say, specific, <laughs> unnecessarily fiddly, very satisfying thing, inlay. You know, there's something noble about doing marketry by hand. It's quiet, meditative, takes weeks, and guarantees at least one emotional breakdown. Routers, well, they're fast, but they also remove so much more material. You could start selling a sideline hustle, selling sawdust. Precision, think of an elephant doing callig calligraphy. The curve of the laser beam is so fine, it makes like a, a scalpel look like a garden spade. Plus there's zero resistance, no tear out, and you don't have to pray to the woodworking gods every time you make a cut. So for this test, I pulled a design together for Josh, who runs Suffolk Bespoke Joinery, as you probably know. Lovely chap, makes all, makes all sorts. In that design, I've got a tree, a classic inlay motif, branches, leaves, all the fiddly bits that make hand cutting mark tree feel like medieval punishment. Naturally, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you how the Falcon 2 Pro handles delicate inlay without asking for your sanity in return. First pass, we cut the recess. The laser carves out the shape cleanly, no splinters, no need for a chisel, and absolutely no blood loss. Then we cut the inlay itself. Exact same fire, just mirrored or s and slightly offset depending on the material thickness and your level of perfectionism. When I, what I mean is also, you've got to consider is the curve of the laser. So it's the thickness of the laser beam, which is different to every machine. I have found it can also be specific to materials. And here's the magic, it fits. First time, no fiddling, no sanding, no muttering, dark curses, misaligned edges. Oh, what can I say? It's awesome. See, snug as a bug in a laser cut rug. Anyway, a quick USP, unique selling proposition of this machine that I'm gonna quickly talk to you about is these, it comes with two lasers, a 1.6 and a 40 watt. So this one machine does cover you for a lot of stuff. The 1.6 does very fine stuff. And as you move up in the wattage of your lasers, the beam's getting thicker. So the less detailed it'll be. This 40 watt though, has a little button here. And if you hold it for a few seconds, it then changes it to precise mode, which I believe is 20 watt. So you've kind of got a nice scale opposition to, to cutting. The 40 watt full beans and uh, slow speed, you're going to be able to cut decent thicknesses, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what these two are quickly capable of quickly anyway. Because I think that's the thing about this machine that uh, makes this a good machine. Like I said, comparing the three laser modules, well, two laser modules, but one is two. The 40, the 20, and the 1.6 watt. 1.6, and that does the other two. First up, the 40 watt beast, really for cutting. The head is made for slicing through thick materials. So let's put it to the test. I started with 13 mil ply, sorry, 13 mil pine, and then 17 mil pine. No problem there, clean, a one pass cut. Then moved on to some 18 mil MR MDF. That needed more than one pass, two passes, and a bit of help. I tried making one pass and then refocusing the laser by lowering it, thinking it just cut that little last bit, but no, still couldn't get a clean cut. Maybe it's just too thick for this setup. Next up, I used a photograph of my Nan on two and a half mil basswood ply. First the 40 watt, then the 20 watt, both of those at the same settings, and honestly, similar results. That's the 40 watt. Then the 20 watts, same settings, not bad, but probably room for some improvement. Then I swapped for the 1.6 detail head, let's call it. And yeah, big difference. Way more clarity, better contrast. You do need completely different settings though to the previous two, but once dial in, this thing delivers. The grain on the basswood though, that did come through and it does interfere with the picture when you look closely at it. That isn't the laser's fault. But overall, definitely more than acceptable. So yeah, three lasers, one machine. 40 watt for serious cutting. 
20 watt for balanced use and a 1.6 for detailed engraving. That's pretty cool in my book. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one. So if you like the cut of my jib, please like and subscribe. Share if you're really feeling kinky. And uh, we'll see each other again.